and I'm happy that I'm the one who is causing the narrative to change. And I hope once I'm done with the sport that this will continue a long way to actually make Kenya a sprinting nation. I'm changing the perception that Kenyans can't sprint. So Kenya's Ferdinand Omanyala has been making tons of headlines over the past two years. With a 100 meter personal best of 9.77 seconds, he is the African record holder and one of the fastest sprinters in history. But his country of Kenya is no more for its dominance in the distances than in the sprints. Names like Eli Kipchoge and Faith Kipyegon, names that we all know, among others, have been leading the way in terms of global track and field dominance for the country. But Omanyala's rise has really sparked a surge of enthusiasm in young Kenyan sprinters who see him as a leader of the next generation. Omanyala first came into the spotlight when he broke the Kenyan 100 meter national record running 10.01 seconds at Nigeria's MOC Invitational in March of 2021. He then went on a spree of fast times running 10.05, 10.06, and finally 10.02 seconds to win the Kenyan Olympic trials. Now, these times weren't putting him in the global conversation as a medal threat, considering the top guys in the world at the time were running 9.8 or better leading into the Olympic Games. And at those Tokyo Olympic Games, Omanyala only made it into the semifinals, though he did run a new national record of 10 seconds flat. What was more notable was his post-Olympic season. At a meet in Austria, Omanyala ran 9.96 and 9.86 seconds in the 100 meter dash. Not only a Kenyan national record, but also one of the fastest times in the world that year. Even more impressive was a month later, he ran 9.77 seconds at the Kip Kano Classic right at home in Kenya. Though he finished second place to Trayvon Bramell of the United States, Omanyala had just broken the African record and suddenly found himself becoming the eighth fastest man in history. To put some context on his year, Omanyala entered 2021 with a personal best of just 10.32 seconds. He was now ending the year with a best of 9.77 seconds, the African record, and holding the title of history's eighth fastest man ever. Omanyala stepped things up a notch in 2022, getting even more consistent, running times of 9.98, 9.93, 9.9, and 9.85. In addition, he won the 100 meter dash at both the African Championships in June and the Commonwealth Games in August. The Commonwealth Games win was a bit more notable as he became the first Kenyan to win the title since Serafino Antano won the 100 yard dash in 1962. Sandwiched in between the African and Commonwealth Games were the World Championships. And due to visa issues, Omanyala almost didn't get to compete, only landing in Oregon a few hours before the gun went off for his 100 meter heat. Though he qualified for the semifinals, he unfortunately was unable to make it into the final. But being there, especially under those circumstances, was an accomplishment in itself. But now with the title of African champion, Commonwealth champion, and African record holder, Omanyala is looking for more. He of course has his eyes set on winning a world or Olympic medal in the 100 meter dash, but he also wants to run much faster, aiming for sub 9.7 seconds, and maybe one day even taking down Usain Bolt's world record. Now, of course, that is a whole other discussion, so we'll save that for another time. But even more importantly, Omanyala is looking to be a leader for the next generation of Kenyan sprinters. As noted, most of the track and field world know Kenya as a dominant force in the distances. But when it comes to the sprints, Kenya has, for the most part, been absent from the conversation where the likes of the USA and Jamaica dominate. But it wasn't too long ago, specifically in the 1990s, when Kenya was actually winning medals in the sprints. I'm thinking about Samson Couture in the 400. With Omanyala rising as one of the top sprinters in the world, a new generation of Kenyan athletes will look to emulate his success and potentially compete with some of the other rising talent across Africa and the world. So let me know what you think of Omanyala in the 100 meter dash. What do you think of the rise that he's had over the past two years? Do you think that we're gonna see him actually win a global medal at the World Championships or Olympics in the next couple years? Let me know what you think. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks for watching.